by asking you to take a look at this. As officers surrounded a home in Honersville, they had their guns drawn out there. All of this forced a nearby school to go into lockdown. All this after police say a teacher who has been accused of having sex with a student appears to have shot and killed her husband and then killed herself. Investigators say that Emma Ogle, a former Geringer High School teacher, barricaded herself inside their home. In the past five minutes, we heard from Charlotte Mecklenburg Schools. They say social and emotional support will be there for students. Channel 9's Mark Becker is live tonight near that home off Hambright Road. And Mark, you learned it was a family member who first called 911 about all this. Yeah, Erica, we're told a family member came to the house off Hambright Road, which is actually a couple hundred yards behind those trees back there. We can't see it from here, but when she pulled up to that house, she saw Emma Ogle with a gun. So she called police and police got here quickly, but by the time they got here, instead of an armed standoff, they found a double tragedy. Police, firefighters, and paramedics choked the long driveway down to the Ogle family's home just after 8 o'clock this morning, gearing up for what they thought could be an armed standoff. After a relative had called to say Mike Ogle did not show up to work at his hardwood flooring company this morning. When a family member went to the home to check to see what was going on is when she noticed 63-year-old Emma Ogle inside the home with a gun. With Chopper 9 Sky Zoom, we could see the extent of the force outside that home. But police say that sometime after that family member's call and before they could go into the house, Emma Ogle had apparently turned the gun on herself. Once our SWAT team was able to make entry into the home, they did locate two deceased parties inside the residence, and they were of uh, Emma Ogle and Michael Ogle. The tragedy here comes less than a week after police had charged Emma Ogle with having sex with a student she taught at Geringer High School. But police aren't saying if and how that led to what happened here this morning. This afternoon, several signs announced that the flooring business was closed today due to a family emergency. So had they come over here to get landscaping ideas? Chris York works at the garden center across the street. He'd installed the landscaping outside the Ogle's office and was shocked when he heard what happened this morning. Awfully close, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, I considered us friendly. Um, and no clue that there was anything. No, I mean, they're very nice people. Now, we really didn't see many neighbors here, certainly didn't see any family out here today while we were here. They're probably gathering together just trying to make sense of all this tragedy. Scott? Uh, it's a tragic story now with just a, a really disturbing end to all of this tonight. Thank you, Mark.